So here's a short video to show you how to take the Woodhay Ambassador badge and submit it for marking. Firstly, we're going to log into our profile, click at badges at the top of the screen. Then we're going to click on the discover badges section and search for year 10 ambassador badge and it will come up there in the uh, autocomplete. Clicking on the badge will take us to the page and we can activate the badge in the top right hand corner. I've activated the badge you'll see a new button uh, that allows you to add work and also a link enabling you to download information on how to take the badge. <clears throat> Reading through this document provides us with the information on what we need to do uh, in order to complete the badge, uh, what level of completion we need to get our Cloodle profile to and what sort of work we need to upload to the badge. You can add work to a badge by clicking on the Add Work button, which enables you to upload a blog, photo, video or document. But the first step in the process is to upload a bio. And we do that by going to our profile, clicking on the Bio tab and clicking the Create button. And this is where you write uh, your bio, where you can uh, talk about what your aspirations are, what your interests are and why you feel you should be uh, an ambassador for the school. Once we've completed that section, the next section is to complete the employment history. We'll go back to our profile, click on the employment tab, click the create employment button, and then fill in the details of the items of employment we may have had. Um, so this could be uh, part-time work, it could be voluntary work, um, it could be work experience that you've been on. The most important part of uh, an item of employment is the description. So tell uh, people what you've done in your particular role and what skills you've developed and what you've demonstrated during that time. Clicking save, saves the item to your profile. So we've got our bio, we've got our employment history. The next item on the agenda is to upload an achievement. So our main achievements, we'll do that by clicking on the achievements tab. Then the create achievements button. and writing into the list what our achievement is and this can be anything from Duke of Edinburgh to sporting achievements uh, to volunteering work that you may have done anything that you're particularly proud of you can upload to your achievement section clicking save will then save that to your profile and then the rest of the description talks about what um, is required of an ambassador um, so once we've read that, what we're going to do uh, to give our application um, some gravitas is to go back to the badges that we're completing. We'll see we've activated the Year 10 Ambassadors badge, so we can click into that. We'll click Add Work and we'll write a blog basically outlining why we feel we will be perfect for the role. Um, so we'll look at what the requirements are of an ambassador and we'll discuss in our blog um, what we have done at school to date in order that will make us a particularly good candidate for this role. We'll tag in the skills that we've demonstrated and then we'll click publish and then that piece of work then will be uploaded to the badge and once we submit it the people who are going to be marking this badge will then be able to read uh, why you would make a good ambassador. So once we've done that we'll go up to the top and click submit and then that is our entrance um, for the year 10 ambassador position um, submitted and we can wait for that to be marked.